This Saturday, the South Side of Chicago will host a literary festival designed to inspire the next generation of readers. Here to tell us more about the WOW Literary Festival is Jerima Gorham, the executive director of Burst Into Books, along with author Nora Brooks Blakely. Thank you so much for being with us. Such Thank an honor you. to have you yeah. here. Thanks for having us okay, here. So Talk about this. Thank How you. did you come up with this idea for this festival, and then why did you want to hold it on the South Side? So first, this has always been a, a passion of mine when we started Burst Into Books because one, and first and foremost, the South Side of Chicago is full of so many amazing writers and the arts, and so having it on the far South Side was important because there has never been a festival on the far South Side of Chicago, and the neighborhood Pullman itself is so historic. Yes. And so just having it in that space is not only going to welcome the whole city there, but really bring light to the beauty of Pullman. Mm -hmm. And Nora, you've got some books that you're going to be featuring there. Why was it important for you to get involved in this? Because one, it is just a, it is such an incredible idea, and as uh, Jacqueline Woodson, who is the awesome writer, who is our headliner, uh, talked about how when she was young, she uh, her mother played Nikki Giovanni's album, oh, yeah. and so reading begets reading, mm -hmm. and so the more that you have different experiences, and the more that you actually see people reading books. Yeah. I love Kindle, but you don't know what people are doing on their phones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See people reading a yeah, book, yeah. and you know, I should maybe I should be doing that too. Mm -hmm. you know, so, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and Jerima, we've got to talk about this Dare to Share workshop. Yes. What is this? So we have not only just the booksellers and the music and the festival, but we're going to have on-site workshops that are free. Workshops for children as young as first grade, all the way up to adults. So if you ever want to be an inspired writer, yes. you have an opportunity <laughs> to do that. And then we're so excited. We have the amazing. E.B. Lewis, who is an award-winning illustrator who's, list, who's going to do two workshops for the youth and for older adults. And so we just really wanted to not only get you excited about reading, but know that you could be an author yourself and just give you the tools and even some inspiration to do it on site. So we're super excited about the workshops. I love that because too many kids, I don't think, are, are they're not getting into writing as, as a means to express yeah. themselves. I mean, we have Nylon, right? Yeah. She, exactly. she writes music. That's mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. And people need to be able to do that somewhere and get a little direct. And know that your story matters, yeah. right? And that you have an opportunity to able to perfect your craft along with people who've been doing it and can get you into the industry as well. Yeah. Now with self-publishing so popular, mm -hmm. more, we have more and more people where parents are actually writing books with their children mm -hmm. and self-publishing them. So, uh, so you can go to something like this and then self-publish your own book. It doesn't have to be on the New York Times bestseller list. It could just be 20, 30 copies that your friends got, yeah. you know, and everything. Everything. But it's just a great opportunity. And Nora, you were just mentioning parents working with their children. I mean, you know, you have firsthand knowledge <laughs> <Yeah>. about <laughs> incredible <laughs> writers. Uh, enlighten us. <laughs> so I often say that I'm running around being two people. So one is my own book, but also I run Brooks Permissions, which licenses and promotes the work of my mother, Gwendolyn Brooks. And so some of those books will also be available. We've got, we've got at Graphic Gwendolyn's, where we took uh, poems of hers and turned them into comic books, wow. and uh, her well-known book, Tiger Who Wore White Gloves, yeah. and Bronzeville Boys and Girls, just so many different things, you know, so, and of course, my book. And of course, <laughs> I, I can't only imagine what it was like growing up in your house and how <laughs> important writing and reading was stressed. I think, I, I hope that everybody takes a little piece of that, mm -hmm. because in our family, it was do you do you sleep do you do you eat do you breathe do you read do you write I mean those were all just basic things yeah. and people talk about the importance of family dinner mm -hmm. but I think the importance of a family reading time yeah. uh -huh. where everybody even if it's just 10 minutes you know or 15 minutes just yeah. sitting mm -hmm. down and what are we doing we're all reading right. yeah. you know and nobody's going anywhere nobody's getting on YouTube or anything right now we're reading oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Apple does not fall far yeah. from the tree, <laughs> as I can clearly see. Um, Jeremy, we got to mention the health and wellness aspects yes. of the festival. That's so important. Yeah, so we're going to have on-site vaccinations, uh, blood pressure readings, dental, all those things because we want it to be a one-stop shop. It's so close to when school is starting yeah, back, yeah. but also it gives parents the tools they need to be able to advocate for their children. Mm -hmm. We think about reading as being an essential life skill, mm -hmm. but your health and wellness impacts how well you're able to even engage 
engage in reading. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to have not only authors, but also physicians on site that could be able to give that input to parents. Oh, it's just wonderful. Can't get ladies. easier than yeah, that. Man, yeah, right? right? Just come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and free books. We've got free books. Yes, free yes. Free books. So CPS actually is one of our sponsors, and they purchased 1,500 um, copies of Jacqueline Wilson's latest book that we'll give to all attendees. So we're super excited. <sighs> That's so well, cool. Well, Jeremiah, Nora, thank, thank you, you so much for being with us. Thank it's you. It's been an honor.